Hello friends and welcome back to another video about Adobe Photoshop. Today I have a worksheet for you with four exercises that's going to help us learn and master the frame tool. Frame tool is K on your keyboard or it is located up here near kind of our object selection tools. This is a relatively newer tool in the grand scheme of Photoshop's life. Um, it I believe was introduced 2018, 2019, something like that. Um, so it is not one that has been around forever. And it is honestly not one I think of very often when I'm going to use Photoshop, but we're gonna talk about it today. One of the things I really like about the frame tool is it does allow you to cut up or crop or select a piece of your layer or your image using non-destructive editing. You do not have to convert it. Um, I can rasterize this layer and still use this. It doesn't have to be a smart object for you to use the frame tool. It's a pretty basic tool. You have two choices between a rectangular or square frame tool or an elliptical or circular or round frame tool. Um, the properties on this one doesn't, I don't even think it shows any properties really um, other than the normal transform things. But basically what we're going to do with this is just select the subject area using the frame tool that maybe you want to keep. Maybe you don't want to have a bunch of extra sections in the past. The way we would have to do this is we'd have to take this image out of the program or out of the file, excuse me, that we are working in crop it, save it, and then re-import it or drag it over from the other tab. And now we can just simply use our frame tool. So when you just draw the shape around your subject in that layer, it only affects that layer. And you can see that it looks a little different. It almost looks like a vector mask in my opinion, but you do have the ability to adjust the layer inside of that mask, if you will. So you are not stuck kind of with that size within the frame. You can use your free transform to once again, change the image, the layer, not the frame, which does open up a lot of really neat possibilities. You can um, use your frame tool to move around inside of that frame, but you do have to delete the frame completely in order to get rid of it. Um, one of the ways to get rid of that is you can right click and say delete frame. So just be aware that if you just hit it and delete it, it's gonna delete the entire layer and the image. You do have to right click and say delete frame and then you can say frame only if you wanna start over versus delete the frame and the content. You also can duplicate a frame. You can remove the frame from that layer. So you do have a lot of other options um, beyond just deleting that frame. For this activity, I just want you to go through and add um, a round one so that yours matches mine. And then down here, you're gonna do two rectangular and two round frames. So I apologize, there are six exercises. With the bottom ones, I just want you to quote unquote frame or crop the subject area that makes the most sense for this particular set of images. This is just a tool that adding that to your arsenal is gonna give you a lot of other ways to manipulate and use your images. Thank you so much. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.